Whoa, whoa, you scream. Such clickbait. Alpha 17 is not out yet. Such anger. No, really, Alpha 17 is not out. But this video was specifically made to look forward to Alpha 17 and specifically loot. And what has loot got to do with screamers? I am glad you asked. And hear me out before you reach for that evil dislike button. Who knows, you might listen more and think this is the coolest thing since peanut butter sandwiches. And give me a like, subscribe and donate me your fortune of Oreo cookies. Yummy. So in Alpha 17, we have been told that zombie loot will be reduced in quantity and less rubbish and drop in loot packs when it appears, with no corpses to clean up. So while we can have different opinions of whether less loot is good or bad, I wanted to build something to take advantage of the very fact that there are loot packs and no corpses. And that brings us to the Screamers. Our good friends in the Screamer Corps who shall bring us a steady stream of, well, loot hopefully, and if there is less loot, we need more zombies. And since we don't need to break down corpses, it'll be so much easier grabbing the loot packs that show up. Win-win, except of course for the zombies. So a uh, caveat applies. I am of course building this in Alpha 16 and the Screamer AI is Alpha 16 as well. Though I don't expect Screamer AI to have too many differences in Alpha 17, but uh, maybe the general pathing and such will change. So a quickie on Screamer AI. They show up when enough noise is made in the area, in other words, the heat map. They spawn a couple of hundred blocks away and move towards the location. When or if they see a player, they scream. And based on game stage, that will summon an appropriate scream horde, which will face the player. And if they see you, they will come and try and eat your face. So we want to make sure we make some noise, which is pretty simple with a few forges happily smelting and crafting away. And the screamers will be coming. Now, there are a few ways to handle screamers. We can simply have them walk around. And that works. You could run around and just fight them. Um, but uh, a problem with that is that, well, they'll die just like the other zombies. They'll fall down and they will die. But there are ways to delay or stop them, such as taking off their arms and legs. So we're going to be doing just that. Now, you need to make sure that you take off both legs and both arms, because otherwise they can still move. So we're going to start by doing this and let me get my sniper rifle out here. We're going to start by taking out one hand and one leg. Okay, that was a very powerful leg to take all these shots. Okay, let's take the arm. Okay, let's not take the arm. Let's try to... Okay, arm gone. Foot gone wow that's a powerful foot okay run down now the zombie could still crawl um and let me turn back the ai and you should see that we'll probably get some screamers oh, you see she screams and yeah you saw some come let's get rid of the ai again so you have to actually take off all these ones and i'm gonna fly up here just to now nah, make sure i don't get killed and you'll see it's laying perfectly still which is uh, what we want. Let me pause that again. Sorry, ma'am, it's for science. So now with the arms and legs taken off, she can scream, but she cannot move. Now I say she cannot move with a little bit of a caveat here because uh, she can actually wriggle around. If she turns to face the player, she will shift a bit. If she bashes something or, well, sorry, head bashes or tries to bite, which can happen if she's close enough, she will actually move as well. And that's a bit of a problem no matter what you do because uh, the aim is to get her up here and she will slowly, slowly, sometimes wriggle off and fall down and die. So relying on one is not sufficient. Uh, we'll try this out again in Alpha 17 when it drops, but uh, in my testing, one is not enough. So as you can see, we have a screamer below us, a wormy screamer in this fall trap build. I have fences, I've got shotgun turrets below, and uh, you could have a deeper, you could have dark traps and blade traps and what have you. I just use shotgun turrets because, well, the fall trap was already built. It has an added effect that, as part of my testing, that the noise from the turrets will call in more screamers. So that helps, you don't have to use furnaces to slowly bring them in. And uh, either way, the screamer will scream, call in friends who run towards the fall trap and fall to their deaths. Sometimes they stop arguing, in which case I just jump up or maybe shoot them or climb up the ladders to be more visible and they'll rush in again. Take some caution though, cops can start spitting. 
The bulletproof glass works pretty fine. It has 3000 health points and you can see there's a lot of zombies coming. If we want more, we get with an invisible view of Screamer's approach or the one downstairs and you'll get even more spawned. For added benefit, you can try to kneecap them so that they slow to crawl on their approach, which prolongs the time that they can see before they eventually fall down the trap and die. Of course, the Wormy Screamer below will remain until it wriggles itself off and into the fall trap. So just a quick note on the fall trap. It is a very simple fall trap build. I will link it in the description below. I've simply taken and modified it, putting hatches for entry on the sides and a structure above with bulletproof glass and the iron bars. This gives us a great way to look around while also fighting and shooting. But hold on, what about the loot? Excellent question. Now we don't know the specifics of the loot bag mechanics. I have a ladder down to the bottom of the fall pit, covered by a hatch that Key Nice might have spotted in the corner. Depending on how the loot bags work, we have to plan in going down to actually do the looting. But if they stick around, say, 5 minutes, you know that you have to go down every maybe 4 or 5 minutes to loot. If they stick around longer, you can take longer. If there are blocks and not entities, maybe they'll even be permanent until you loot. So we will have to adjust this based on the details. But the aim is to draw the zombies in, let them fall down, get killed, and we go down and loot as necessary, drop off in chest and come up again and repeat. As you can see, from the noise of the turrets, which yes, they are burning through shotgun ammo, and you might want to use dart traps instead for instance, we can actually get a lot of screamers summoned. And since they take a fair while to walk in, we should have enough time to go loot, come back and continue the party. So I will be taking this build into Alpha 17 and test it out, but for now this is my take on generating and killing screamer hordes and getting all that nice delicious loot. I'll catch you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.